Everyone, this is Gigi, and Gigi is in a situation that no woman would ever want to be in because she is engaged to the love of her life, TJ. But what happened was two years ago, TJ took a job out of state so he and Gigi could have a better life. He could make some money. And while TJ was away, TJ's best friend, Chris, moved into their house because he needed a place to stay. Now, unfortunately, that's when Gigi and Chris started sleeping together behind TJ's back. And here's the heartbreak. Gigi now has a nine-month-old son named Ryan, and she is not sure who the father is, whether it's TJ, her fiancé, or his best friend, Chris. Worst mistake of your life. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know why I did it, you know. Then you get pregnant. Now, do you tell Chris, yeah, Chris the situation? Knew. Chris knew, yeah. But here's the thing. How long did it take you to tell TJ? Till just this past January. So that's what? Almost two years. Two years. Two years went by before you told your fiance. <laughs> I couldn't tell him. What made you tell him? He asked Chris to be my son's godfather. Who do you think this child's father is? I think it's TJ's with all my heart, but you can't really. I mean, he's got. There's no, he's got Chris's nose, and he's got some of TJ's features. I, I can't really tell. How did you sleep with your man's best friend? I don't know. <laughs> no, I made a mistake. You know what TJ has talked to me about? Not to me, but my producers. Do you know what he said? He says, you know, you sleep with somebody one time, that's a mistake. But you slept with Chris four times, five times, six times. <laughs> You and Chris realized the mistake. Yeah, we both realized that we would, we would never want anything between us. It was just... So you stopped sleeping together, but you continued friends. And so just until this past January, before TJ, no, they were best friends, right? So for several months now... They haven't been talking at all. In fact, <laughs> they have never talked to each other about this incident, have they? Oh, really? They talked about it when They're going to come out here today, it? and it's the first time they are going to be with each other with this <laughs> subject up for discussion. And Chris, like you, feels it's the biggest regret of his life. Yeah. <laughs> this is what your fiancé, TJ, had to say before the show. Watch. My name is TJ. My life fell apart when my fiancé, Gigi, had told me that she'd been sleeping with my best friend, Chris. She told me two months ago that Ryan might not be my child, it might be Chris's. Chris was like a brother to me. I've been on Chris for 12 years. I asked him twice to be the godfather of my son. Then I come to find out he's sleeping with my girl. Losing one thing at a time is one, but you're losing three. I'm losing my best friend, my girl, and my child. The thought of Ryan not being my son, what it does to me, shatters my body, it's dust. It's like the sun burning your, burning your shoulders when you walk. It's a constant burn. Ryan means the world to me. He's like flowers. They bloom every day. That's what makes you happy. That's what Ryan does to me. Since the DNA test, it, thoughts go through my head every day, bad thoughts. Every day I've been sick to my stomach. Aggravation, just the thought of him not being mine. Mine's birthday is coming up. Probably the best thing for me to get as a gift for him and for me would know that I am his father. That would be the best gift ever. Here's TJ. Welcome TJ, everybody. <laughs> How you doing, boy? You okay? Yeah, All nice day, right. nice day. Now, you all are engaged still. Most deaf. Most deaf. So what you're saying is, no matter what, you two are going to be together? I mean, I've raised them. I've been there from beginning to end until now. You know what I'm saying? There's and what no... about the two of you? You all going to stay together? I'm saying we're supposed to get married in July, Mari. You know what I'm saying? Things come, they go. You know what I'm saying? It, it, the only thing that don't come and go is your child. You know, things between us is right so now. So what you're saying, thick. no matter what, you're going to be the father of that child? Most definitely.
if you are the father, if it's shown that you're the father here, is that an automatic that you're going to get married? Most have. Okay. Let's talk about the other piece of this puzzle. You had a best friend. You told my producers he was your best friend for 12 years. You don't speak now, do you? I hadn't spoke to him in a while. Usually if I'm somewhere and he's there, he'll leave or I'll leave. You know what I'm saying? We've never really sat down and discussed it. At the same time, we've had a scuffle on this. You know, we fought over this. Physically? I mean, physically. You know, this, this is the man who I asked to be the godfather of my son, the best man in my wedding. You know what I'm saying? Everything went down drain. Do you think that this might be the time that you all could? It's better now than later. He feels terrible about this. I know he does. And he wrote a letter about this to you. This is what he said. Dear TJ, I can't even begin to describe the thoughts I have in my mind into simple words. I feel like I've been living in a mental jail for the past few months because of the dishonesty and disloyalty that I've shown you. If you could see the look in my eye or the hole in my soul, even then you wouldn't be able to conjure the guilt or emptiness I hold inside. I know I owe you an explanation, and the only thing I could say is that I wasn't thinking when I did what I did. And I'm praying with all my heart that little Ryan is yours, and I've graded the rules of DNA proves I am Ryan's father. You are a better man than me, and you do deserve to have Ryan as your son. I'm truly sorry for all the pain that I caused you. You're like a brother to me, and we've been through hell and back. Please forgive me. You accept that apology? It's hard to, you know what I mean? It's, it's not something I can accept in one day. You know, it occurred with them more than once. And I know this. You see what I'm saying? And I know. It's been a long time. You're and trying to just tell now, me if it was once, you could have handled it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I could deal with the fact that you make a mistake one time, but you don't keep making a mistake more than once. It's not a mistake after the first time. Here's Chris. Chris, come on out. Sorry, don't let that bother you, okay? Hey, yo. I know I did wrong, son. I know I did wrong. You know what I'm saying? It's going to come back right today. You know what I'm talking about? It's going to come back right. I know this is hard for both of you. Well, let me get this straight, Chris. You, you're hoping the same thing these two are hoping. That this child is TJ's. Yeah, that baby is TJ's, you know, because you see that baby beautiful. And something so right can't come from something so wrong. You know, more than anything else, what I want, I want to read that result, that it's their child, and that you all can uh, make peace, and that you all can get over this. That's what I want, too. You know, this it's not my friend, it's my brother, you know? I don't even look at it like to have so many years of, of, of closeness and of bonding, you know, you can't, you can't consider, you can't consider it your, your friend anymore. Is you there know? anything you want to tell him before I read the results? Most definitely. You know, like I said, I know this baby's gonna come back yours because it's too right from something that came out to be, you know, was wrong. And in time, you won't allow me to, you know what I mean, come amongst you like we used to be. And no matter what, I do anything, whatever I gotta do to make it right, we gonna bring it back to the way it was. We gonna get it back, son. All right. When it comes to nine-month-old Ryan, Chris, you are not the father. What I tell you, what I told you, son, it's a, it's a beginning right here. This is a beginning of a new beginning right here. When it comes to nine-month-old Ryan, TJ, you are not the father.
I know this is a show. TJ said he wanted to be the father of this child no matter what. You are not the father.